Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pursuant to yesterday's uh, attack on the police officer, <coughs> Queens detectives were able to positively identify Zale Herbert Thompson, this gentleman you see on my left, as, as the perpetrator of the severe uh, attack on the two police officers. Um, during that uh, assault, this blue hatchet uh, tool was, was recovered from his person. He was still hanging on to it uh, when, uh, when he was declared uh, pronounced uh, DOA at the scene. Um, through the night, we were able to identify uh, different aspects of his life through his fingerprints. We found out that he had six prior arrests in Oxnard, California in 2003 and 2004, mostly for a domestic history. He has no New York arrests thus far that we've been able to find. His only NYPD conduct, uh, contact was when he was a victim of assault back in 1998 when he was 16 years old. Um, right now, he was, uh, we find out he was discharged from the military uh, after three years in 2003. Uh, an involuntary discharge. We're still investigating what happened there as well. Um, preliminarily, they tell us it was a part of drugs, that he may have been under the influence of drugs there. Uh, we did two search warrants on the overnight. Uh, one at his, at his residence. Uh, we were able to speak to family members. The other one at, at his mother's residence, both in Queens and nearby where the attack took occur, occurred. Uh, we found that it was, he was a convert to Islam approximately two years ago. Um, he has been described by family members as a recluse and by his other family members that he was depressed lately. Um, we got a um, significant amount of uh, evidence to uh, examine right now. Uh, cell phones, computer towers, laptops, and these two items over here to my right. You'll see this recovered uh, from his residence. It's a weaponized ax uh, with both sides as a, tool, as, a, as a weapon and also a very large hunting knife as well. Um, this is where we stand right now in the investigation. Uh, we were able to go up on his uh, social media sites as well and found some uh, anti-government uh, postings. Uh, we're examining that stuff. Those, th that material right now, it's ongoing. My detectives are going through the computers to find other evidence as well. Um, and that's what I have right now. Uh, we would encourage anybody who knows this individual to co contact the police immediately, help us on our investigation. But that's where we stand right now. We have not uncovered any um, affiliations with any particular one person or one group as of right now. Okay.